Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to focus on 10 signs that someone is thinking of you. Some of you may have had strange experiences when someone is thinking about you a lot. This can also apply to someone who's at a distance or you're not in contact with that person. You can still receive these signs from them and the universe because energetically there's no distance between you both. So as I said, I'll mention 10. I feel these are the most significant ones, but obviously you may have experienced other signs. If so, let us know in the comments if you wish. A very common sign is seeing or hearing their name everywhere. So we use Michael here as an example. Um, this may overwhelm you at times, if it's unexpected or if it keeps happening. Um, I had a very bizarre day once, actually, which I'll just tell you about. When I was bombarded with signs about my twin flame. And then it really shocked me when I was in a bar. Um, what well, was it, like a bar? And food area so I was sat there eating some food and a worker from the bar came and stood next to me he was sort of just tidying up the tables clearing up the tables and he shouted across at his colleague at the bar and said where's Michael let's use Michael here's the example um you know it's not my twin flame's name but he said his name and I just looked round at him in shock and I thought wow did he say the name there but he did you know and I thought wow that just really blew me away um, so you know that kind of thing could happen to some of you sign number two is that you may feel the urge to text or call your person. It's like you're listening with your heart, as it says in this card. It's just a, a feeling that you have. And then you suddenly receive a call, text, email from them. This has happened to me a lot of times. Um, now it can happen with anyone, by the way. Um, doesn't just have to be you know a significant other or family member I've found this before it's been with friends as well and this is because our mind is energetically broadcasting a signal you know like a radio um, that the other person picks up on prior to the physical manifestation so you know it's like telepathy um, but I feel you will experience this particularly with people you're strongly connected to. Or maybe you have a powerful intuitive gift. Um, because I've found that with some of the people it's happened with, um, I am very connected with them, you know, friend, family member. But with others, not so much but they, you know, they come through. So another sign can be seeing number sequences. For example, 1111, which we see a lot in this Four of Wands card, 333999, some examples. Now, 1111 is a symbol of manifesting you know, potentially a connection, very strong connection, could be your twin flame for some of you. So it's like a doorway, which we're seeing here actually, to a new future together. Um, 333 is a sign of coming together in spiritual union. So it's like you, your person and spirit, perhaps with a divine mission together as well. And 999 can be a sign of completing a chapter and moving into a new fulfilling one. 
Okay, so sometimes it can be signs from the universe as well. I appreciate that. Um, but sometimes it is telepathy between you and a person. You're giving each other these signs. Another sign you may experience could be thinking obsessively about your person. And perhaps looking them up online, trying to see what they're up to. And this could be a mirror effect of what they're doing in relation to you. So you're both actually thinking about each other at that moment. And that could also be for some of you where, you know, you then hear from your person. So you see how it all sort of links here. Sign number five is where this person shows up in your dreams. And what happens in your dream can tell you a lot in terms of how they feel about you, um, sort of where your connection is at with this person. Because it could even be someone you're not in communication with from a very long time ago and healing is taking place in that dream. But perhaps you wake up feeling warm and excited, wishing you could return to the dream. Has that ever happened to any of you, I wonder, where you've returned to a dream after waking up? Um, it happened to me a couple of months back, actually. I remember I woke up in the morning just feeling wonderful. And I said in my mind, oh, I wish I could return to that dream. I fell asleep and I actually did. It's not happened to me a lot, but it's wonderful, you know, if it does happen. And for some of you, it could have been an astral projection that happened, which is why it may have felt very real. So it's a sign they're thinking of you and you're connected telepathically at a soul level. So obviously not just your twin flame, but also soulmates from our past we're still connected to. Um, and as I said, you're just connecting with them maybe in the astral realm. Or for some of you, there could be some healing there as well. Another sign can be feeling that person's energy, um, having a vision of them potentially in your third eye. So you may just know in that moment that they're focused on you, and they are. You may feel as though they're right there beside you. It can happen sometimes when you're lying down, meditating, um, and this is a, a big sign that they're thinking of you deeply. It can happen at very strange moments, sometimes I've found. Um, particularly when you're very focused as well on something. Like for me, I know it's happened when I'm doing DIY. <laughs> I guess because I'm very focused, so I'm painting, you know, and then suddenly I just get this vision of someone coming to my mind. And again, it's not always my twin flame, it's sometimes other random energies coming through. So maybe that's happened to you. Let us know in the comments if you wish. Sign number seven is where you run into your person randomly. But obviously nothing's random because it's the universe conspiring to bring you both together. And this could be because you're thinking about each other and, you know, drawing each other in and manifesting each other, which is very much the energy of the Four of Wands in this card. Another sign that's quite common is when you see something very specific that relates to this person, such as their birthday, birth year, spirit animal, or things they really like. For example, football, or cats, sports cars, you know, whatever it is. And you keep seeing it which is showing you this person's energy that's very linked to you and thinking about you. So it's like they're sending you a sign through this symbol. 
sign number nine, oh that rhymes, <laughs> um, can be hearing your song or a song that really touches you because the lyrics speak to you in some way, maybe in a very profound way actually. That song may remind you of them instantly, which shows it's a message from your person, so trust your intuition. You may even find that you keep hearing the song wherever you go. So, you know, on the radio, in a shop, a car driving by, on the TV, um, this song really wants to get to you in some way, and it does, usually. And finally, sign number 10 can be a twitching or itchy eye. Now, if it's only one eye, um, this can certainly be a sign that someone's thinking of you. They say that for women, if it's the, the right eye twitching, this can be a sign that someone's thinking ill of you. And if it's your left eye, then this is a good sign. And in men, this can be the other way around. But trust your intuition in terms of what you feel within if this happens to you. And if it feels really irritating, um, then it could show definitely, you know, it's, it's not necessarily good vibes. Um, if it persists, it could show someone just keeps thinking about you in that moment. Um, if your eyes watering, could show cleansing, maybe they're crying, you know, missing you. So, you know, I, I have my own interpretations there of what it could be. There are many others. Um, so as I said, just trust the feeling you have within. So I really hope you've enjoyed these 10 signs that show someone is thinking of you. Um, as I said, let us know in the comments anything else you've experienced or if you've experienced any of these signs I've mentioned. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you for watching. Sending peace, love and light to you all.